using the point-slope form to find the equation of a line. The point-slope form for linear equations is a very useful tool in algebra. The number one classical use is to find an equation for a line from the coordinates of one point and the slope of that line. And in this lesson, we'll also cover using the point-slope form to obtain an equation from a verbal description. And finally, we'll look at using the point-slope form to find the equation of a line from two points. This is the first problem we'll look at in this lesson. What is the equation of a line whose slope is 2.5 and passes through the point 2 comma negative 10? We now will apply the point-slope form of linear equations. The 2.5 is substituted for m. The 2 and the coordinate pair, or our known x value, substituted for x1. And finally, the y coordinate, negative 10, is substituted for y1 in the equation. This kind of looks like a drawing up of a football play, doesn't it? In this lesson, I'm the coach here to give you the X's and O's of working with algebra. Here's the equation with the numbers we substituted in red. On the left, the minus negative 10 is simplified to plus 10. So we have Y plus 10 equals 2.5X minus 5. Our last step is to move out the 10 on the left side by subtracting it from both sides of the equation. 10 minus 10 cancel on the left side. We're left with y equals 2.5x minus 15, an equation in slope-intercept form that we should be able to quite easily graph. And here is the equation graph. We can see that the line does go through 2 comma negative 10. Now we'll look at an application from a verbal description. Barry's Plumbing Service charges an hourly fee of $55 per hour plus a fixed amount for the service call. If Barry's total charge for a servicing appointment was $225, where the customer was charged for 2.5 hours, what is the amount of Barry's fixed fee for a service call? We can do this problem using the point-slope form because we have here the same things we had in our first example. We have a point and a slope. Our slope is $55 per hour. How we know that our slope is $55 per hour? Because of the words right next to the 55 per hour per for every a piece at a rate of and for each are some words and phrases that represent slope in verbal descriptions next we need a point for point slope form the independent quantity or what we would call the x coordinate is 2.5 hours time is usually independent or the x variable or quantity and finally, we have the $225, our dependent quantity, because it depends on what the amount of time is. We bring out our point-slope form, as we did earlier. The 2.5 hours goes in for x1. The $225 goes in for y1. And finally, $55 goes in for the slope. Again, a bit of the football play look. Here's what it looks like brought down. We have y minus 225 equals 55 times quantity x minus 2.5. We distribute the 55 to the terms inside parentheses. So now we have y minus 225 equals 55x minus 137.5. Now we add 225 to both sides of the equation. Negative 225 plus 225 cancel out on the left side. We take what's left, y equals 55x plus 87.5. So we go to what is being asked, the service call fee, and this is it, $87.50 in coordinate grid algebra language. What do we call this number, 87.5? It's the y-intercept. And here it is, the equation for Barry's business is shown in the graph. We can see the y-intercept here on the graph at 0, 87.5, which in the context of the problem is the answer, $87.5 or $87.50. And finally, we'll look at using the point-slope form to find the equation of a line from two points. The two points we have are 2 comma negative 4 and 6 comma 4. While this usage may not be a classical use of the point-slope form, it demonstrates the versatility of the point-slope form of a linear equation. For this use, we'll let the first point be x and y, and we'll let our second point be x1 comma y1. And here are the numbers in red plugged into the equation. On the left side, we have negative 4 minus 4, which simplifies to negative 8. And on the right side, we have 2 minus 6, which equals negative 4. So we have negative 4m on the right side. And to solve for m, 
we divide both sides of the equation by negative 4. On the right side, negative 4 over negative 4 cancelled equal 1. So we find that m equals 2 since negative 8 divided by negative 4 is 2. This number, m, is our slope and not our final answer, so we underline it as a preliminary answer. So now, having the slope, we use the point-slope form again, this time using the more traditional slope with one point. The slope of 2 replaces the m. We'll use this first point, so x1 is 2, and y1 will be negative 4. Here's the equation with the numbers filled in. We have y minus negative 4 equals 2 times quantity x minus 2. On the left side, we have y plus 4. On the right side, we're set up to use the distributive property again. The next version we have is y plus 4 equals 2x minus 4. The next step is to subtract 4 from both sides of the equation. 4 minus 4 cancel on the left side. We're left with y equals 2x minus 8. And this is our answer in slope-intercept form. And this is the graph of the line showing the original two points we used. We've looked at and solved three examples of using the point-slope form of linear equations to solve problems. This has been using the point-slope form to find the equation of a line. Thanks for viewing.